Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanjay. Today we're back with another video, and yes, it is becoming more of a tradition on a yearly basis where I wrap things up with what I got during the summer sales. If you guys follow the channel for a while, or if you have been following the channel for a while, you know that I do a lot of my shopping during the the sale periods. That's when I kind of go heavy. Now, in comparison to previous years. This year has been relatively tame. In fact, I think we have something along the lines of like six or seven pieces. And obviously the sale isn't over yet, so there might be a possibility for a part two. But I just want to take a moment to say thank you to the guys over at ShopTagger who have partnered with me for this video. It's a sale related video, so what better place and what better opportunity for me to talk to you guys about it. I'm sure, I'm confident that most of you guys would have known about this previously, but if not, this is a wonderful little app for slash widget to use uh, in order to come across some absolute steel. So we're gonna go over to my laptop right now and I'm gonna quickly talk you through about how this widget works and how you can use it. Obviously you guys are gonna need to create an account. I already have an account created and so immediately you'll be greeted on this page. Now the first thing that I'd recommend you guys to do is to click on the get the button. Once you've registered, once you've created an account, what this allows you to do is save items in this wish list that you have created on the platform. Using said wish list, you can tell what products have gone down and when. So click on the get the button. I'm gonna show you guys how it works in two seconds. But one of the reasons that isn't necessarily advertised by ShopTag and the reason why I love it is, as you can see, I've got a selection of items from various retailers and what this allows me to do is to kind of create a wish list not just on one specific website but just websites across the internet that I wish to get the pieces from. It really forces you to be a bit more a bit more thorough and a bit more harsh with yourself as to whether you really need a piece, whether you really need a piece or not. So it works with a bunch of retailers, Essence, Antonio Lee, but well, those are the two primary ones that I've used. As you can see, some of the items are out of stock, it notifies you, and it also notifies you whenever an item drops in price. So if we go over to Essence, for example, boom, let's go to their sale, shop men, let's go to Acne Studios, for example. Okay, let's take a look at this shirt. It looks awesome, I love the colors on it. Originally 358 quid, it's been reduced by 28% and it is now at 258 pounds, right? You select the size that you wish, so size 36 for example, and you see this little widget right here, that is the shop tagger toolkit, if you wish, and you just click on that. What it does, it has chosen the size that you wanted, it, you can choose whenever you wish to be notified, any price change is usually what I leave it at, but if you wish to be more specific with either 25 or 50% off, you may do so. And then you can create lists. I've created my list called Summer Sale. Save it, boom, items are saved. So then you go back to your shop tagger and there you go, the item has just popped up. And this is pretty much how I've used it so far and how I'm gonna carry on using it until the end of sale. Now obviously sale season is when this app becomes, well, this app, this widget, which also does have an app, becomes extremely useful. But obviously you can also use it off season for any sort of um, mid season sale. We're gonna move on to the pickups and hopefully if there is a part two to this video, it will be through ShopTagger because they've come in very strong and told me when something's gone down further to 50%, which is normally when I tend to cop my things. Freeze frame, I forgot to mention that if you wish to check out ShopTagger, links can be found in the description box down below. Okay, take it away. We're gonna start off with the bottoms with a pair of shorts, which I've actually already shown you guys, which actually weren't even in the sale. So this is the only item that isn't a sale related item, but I mentioned them very briefly and I felt like I needed to speak more on them. These are the Unplice by Isimiyaki pleated yellow shorts. And man, are they a thing of absolute beauty. First of all, I've been after some nice shorts, Unplice, pleats are just perfect for me like they've come in a variety of color i think they come in a navy blue black yellow in fact i might go and cop the black version they also have a beige version but the yellow just kind of speaks to me it's a bit more outlandish if you wish uh, a bit more bold and it's one of the colors that was extremely hard to come by in fact in the uk they only had one in a size two on essence they only had one in a size two and they both sold out so i'm sure you can still find these if you really dig hard enough whether that is across some retailers or if you go to an isimiyaki store if you have one in your country but these are absolutely beautiful. I think they retailed at 220 or something along those lines. Kind of on the steeper end of things when it comes to shorts. I've shown you guys how it can be worn as well. You can kind of 
keep it toned down, you can go all out, whatever. So this was item number one, the only non-sale item out of the bunch. We've got shirts, now shirt number one, and I was actually waiting for this guy to arrive this morning prior to filming this video. It is a shirt from Craig Green, and man, look at it. Look at it, it is so, so sick. This is a shirt from the current season, which is spring, summer 18. He did a lot of tropical print outerwear shorts, as you may have seen on my shop tagger, and I had to cop this shirt because I think it's such an awesome piece. I got this in a size small now, unfortunately. I tried it on this morning. I tried it on first in DSM, different color, same cut. Size small seemed to fit perfectly then. When I tried this guy in a size small, the fit was a bit off, it was a tad bit too tight. So I did get it, well, I ordered a size medium, I'm gonna return this guy. But just so that you guys have a reference as to how it fits, this is what it looks like. Cray green, beautiful piece, man, look at it. The colors are awesome, cropped in the body. I know I say that all the time, but the cut is very, very nice. On the boxier end of things, it can be worn all the way done up, and I'm done with a white t-shirt underneath. Clean look, and I love the fabric as well. Like, it's not a fabric that is used very commonly on shirts, so shout out to the boy Craig for coming out with these bangers, bangers, with this bad boy. Shirt number two, shirt that you guys would have seen in my what I packed to Dubai, and that is this Prada number. I'm trying to really stick with this tradition of copying one Prada shirt every year, or every season? Every season or every year, I'm trying to cop one short sleeve shirt, because I absolutely love them. This is perhaps the most, um, not iconic, but like the, the most hyped short sleeve shirt of this, of the season just gone. It is the beach illustration shirt, this guy, however, has the Revere collar. This shirt came in two versions, one with the Revere collar, one without, and if you're gonna go for the short sleeve Prada shirts, it needs to be the Revere collar. If you have the other one, it's great, it's just not the best. So, you know, your boy only does the best. Shut the sand. Sizing, I went with the size large. I like it to be a tiny bit more on the boxier side than it already is. And I believe that this guy, in comparison to the previous releases anyway, isn't actually as boxy anyway. It's more on the slimmer end of things and it's slightly longer. So I think going with a large looks better on me and for my taste. So, so clean. I got this on, I think it went down to 50% and then your boy got the plug. So I was able to, to finesse an extra further discount. Next up we've got hoodies. And this is actually a hoodie from a brand that I never thought I would get anything from just because the prices are absolutely outrageous. But it is from Vetmore. I only copped it because I got it for such a good price. It's one of those pieces that I know will hold value. And if I was to ever get rid of it, I know that I could easily make my money back, if not more. So, Vetmore pour un tricot été 2018 prêt à porter. Uh, it just says Vetmore and... I thought it said NY, it doesn't say NY. I don't know what it says here. Zip at the front, super lightweight as well. Really perfect for the spring summer. It's very reminiscent of the Miami hoodie that I cut up. In fact, it's got the same color. The cut is obviously gonna be slightly different. This has that sort of cropped or this sort of shrunken feel that a lot of Vetmore clothes have. This is a size medium, and on the hood you have Vetmore Printemps Été 2018, 2018. Yeah, man, there, there literally isn't much to say. It's a clean hoodie that I'll get a lot of wear out of, and whenever I don't feel like wearing the black Hyder hoodie, to spice it up a little, I'll just throw this on. And because it's a lot more lighter than the Hyder hoodie as well, it fits perfectly and can be worn during spring summer, which is fantastic to hear. So, item numero quatre, out of the bunch. Coming to the last two pieces, we have outerwears. Like I said, this sale has been relatively tame, and I feel as though that's because I'm genuinely very happy with where my wardrobe is. As I said, I'm now really implementing that rule of, if you wish to buy something new, you need to get rid of something old, and that kind of really forces me to be tough on whether I really need an item or not. So I bought two new pieces of outerwear, but I actually sold three jackets in order for me to accommodate for the space. So a jacket numero uno. This is actually, well I say super old just because it's not from the previous season, but a couple of seasons ago, Saint Laurent is now adopting what Gucci has been doing ever since Alessandro took over, which is not go into sale with the current season, but go into sale with the season previous to that, if that makes sense. So then you really have time to buy the item at full price. It's a bit more of a strategic move on their part so that they don't get rid of stock so quickly, but hey. So this has been an item that's been on my wish list ever since just because of how beautiful the color is, man. Look at it. It is the Je T'aime corduroy bomber sort of teddy jacket from SLP. And man, 
it is incredible. Now, for me, I'm not going to lie to you, the colour in itself does the most. Like, it is this beautiful, really rich ink blue. That's what my girlfriend referred it as. I just call it as like a really, I don't know, like a royal blue. You've got yellow for slash orange accent on the buttons, on the pocket details, the sleeves, the sleeve cuff, the bottom cuff. It just says je t'aime right there, which means I love you in French. Saint Laurent, size 48. So it does fit very snug. Now to my surprise when I tried it on for the first time, this piece is definitely a bit more puffier than I had initially anticipated. So it might not be the best piece to wear over the spring summer, but as the weather gets cooler, this is a perfect piece to just throw on top of a t-shirt or whatever. I just think it's awesome, man. I love the cut of it and the color and just, oh, what a thing of beauty. So really, really happy with this piece. So yeah, man, that is outerwear number one. You're gonna see this in the background now more often. And then outerwear number two, this has been a piece that I saw at the very beginning of the season and I was like, man, I would love to grab this piece. And I was, ready to pay a lot more than I had paid. So I first saw this piece in Selfridges. Now I know that Selfridges goes into sale relatively early, especially their, their preview sale, the one that they don't announce to anyone. You just get invited and you get 50% off. So when that happened, I was in Dubai. Most of the good pieces tend to go then. So when I came back from Dubai, I had no expectations. I went in there and for some odd reason, I came across this piece in my size, the last of it, and for such a disgusting price, I was baffled. So you've got this, once again, sticking with the theme of blue, this light blue silk Heide Ackerman bomber jacket. This retailed at £1,050 and it was on sale for 250 quid. When I got this piece and when I got that sun oil jacket, I was like, man, I need to sell some pieces in my wardrobe so that I can justify it and we've done it. So silk, super lightweight. Once again, much like the SLP jacket, it's a bit more puffier. It's not as silky and as flowy as I had initially thought it would be, which is great because it means that I get to wear this even during the four winter times when it gets a bit colder with just a t-shirt underneath. And when it gets really cold, I can just wear a hoodie and this underneath. I absolutely love the colors. So you've got this really light sky blue with these black stripes going down. Zipper down the middle, not iconic Hyde cut, but it is the cut that we know from Hyde Ackerman. Still got the tags and everything, that is because I have yet to wear it outside. But yeah, man, absolutely beautiful piece. I am super, super gassed about it. I just think it looks awesome, it fits awesome, and for the price that I got it, you really cannot and shouldn't really be able to beat that. But that is it for this summer sale pickup. I know that in comparison to previous years, this has been very, very tame, but as I said, I'm trying to be good, I'm trying to be sensible, and hopefully there should be a second part, or there might be a second part to this video, because Essence still has a few more reductions to do, as does Antonio Lee, as does a few more other websites that I follow. So Shop Tagger is gonna allow me to keep on track with that. And yeah, boy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more, do not forget to click subscribe. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here in this corner. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is across my snaps, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Thank you very much for your continuous support. Thank you to the sponsors of the video. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.